Hi, it's Vicki and it is August 1st and I am doing a reading. <laughs> I just love that the dog ate this. Um, but it's the language of letting go. Melody Beatty. She's fabulous. And I will start with August 1st. Gratitude. We learn the magical lesson that making the most of what we have turns into more. From Codependent No More. Say thank you until we mean it. Thank God, life, and the universe for every one and everything sent your way. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. It turns problems into gifts, failures into successes, the unexpected into perfect timing and mistakes into important events. It can turn an existence into a real life and disconnect situations into important and beneficial lessons. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today and creates a vision for tomorrow. Gratitude makes things right. Gratitude turns negative energy into positive energy. There is no situation or circumstance so small or large that it is not susceptible to gratitude's power. We can start with who we are and what we have today. Apply gratitude, then let it work its magic. Say thank you until you mean it. If you say it long enough, you will believe it. Today, I will shine the transforming light of gratitude on all the circumstances of my life. And... I always say that gratitude is my number one elixir for any kind of emotional and um, mental pain that I might might find myself in. If I feel that like dis-ease, that irritableness, discontentness, if I think about it, I make a gratitude list. And what I like about this is how it says, say thank you until we mean it, because when I'm grouchy or when I'm not feeling all right and I do write a gratitude list, it really usually diffuses it. It's like it's really is an elixir of fixing <laughs> that yuck and it might not happen immediately. It might take some time. It might it might be a few hours. Sometimes it happens immediately. When I write it down, I'm like, geez, what am I freaking out about? What's what's the problem here? Why am I so, you know, sensitive about this? Or why am I so annoyed about this? It, is this really a big deal? And, and the more gratitude that I acknowledge in my life, the more gratitude that comes. And, you know, all of the all of the information we hear and, and, and we get from all these different cool places about manifestation and the power of positive thinking. And, you know, there's, there's truth to that. I've seen evidence of it in my life and it, and it doesn't have to be this like weird process of like, Oh, I am a good person. No, it can be as simple as I am a good person right? You know, you just acknowledge it. I am grateful that I've learned how to be a good person again, that I am a good person just by being that, you know, I mean, whatever it is, whatever your stuff is, whatever your day looks like, you can always flip it around. I just have experience that I can flip it around with gratitude. And like I said, sometimes it doesn't happen immediately. And sometimes it takes me a couple of days, but at least I'm in the habit of writing it. And in early sobriety, that was part of my everyday routine. And my friends that I'm doing my podcast with telling on ourselves, we do that. We do it every single night when we think about it. Um, so probably about five nights a week and sometimes we do it every time, but it really does help me. It, uh, it really, um, makes me better. It makes me realize that, um, no matter what I think is going on in my head, like negativity, I still have all this good stuff that I can focus on. And if you, if I shift my focus, Usually my whole mood comes along with that. So I hope you can find some gratitude in your day. I encourage you 
I challenge you to start a gratitude practice. And it could be as simple as every morning, say one or two things that you're grateful for. It's even more powerful if you write it down. Another way is if you find a couple of friends and you email them or, or text them every night and say, hey, I'm grateful for this, this, and this. And when you do that, it, it tell me how it is. I'd love to hear how it goes. And I'm also going to write a blog post about this. And I might even set up a challenge and put it out on Facebook because I think it's important and I think it could help all of us. I know it's helped me in tremendous, tremendous ways. So I hope you have a wonderful day today. I am really grateful that I get to do this. It helps me very much. And um, be good to yourself. Namaste.